explain it's fear nobody has to explain fear to you but trust me there's more to learn so let's go hey guys welcome back to my channel it's once again I hope you're having a lovely day have you seen our last video if you have not the link is up there how are you doing um so today was a lot but i needed to absolutely share this with you guys so if i france in it so i hope not but bear with me okay i know you probably think you know everything there is to know about fear i mean it's fear nobody has to explain fear to you but trust me there's more to learn. So let's go in. All right, so I'm sitting down today because somebody uh, mentioned that she focused more when people are not moving too much. So yeah, this is for you, love. And I'm also very tired, so it works. Okay, so um, I, I absolutely thought I needed to share this video because first of all, fear is a very powerful emotion among many other things. When we were not younger in school, I think it was our principal that gave us um, two definitions of fear. So false experiences appearing real and um, forget everything and run. <laughs> so, I mean, fear is that great. It can literally make you forget everything and run. You can see a shadow of a dog running away. Anyways, um, I'm here to talk about fear, but most importantly, I'm here to share an experience, a wake-up call I had recently that made me feel like I needed, I definitely needed to talk about this. All right, now, you cannot exhaust the um, topic of fear in six minutes. I'm not going to try to do that. Well, a few things I need to say about fear. Fear is good. Don't let anybody lie to you that fear is not good. Fear is your body's way of telling you there's danger. If you don't feel afraid, you're going to probably do something crazy and kill yourself. So fear is good. But at the same time, because fear is that powerful, you should learn how to control it. You should learn how to use that fear. Like I said, I'm not going to say everything there is to say about fear. I don't think I even know too much about fear. So until I get to that, I'm tired. We're going to get there someday. Well, yeah. Um. So I something something really interesting happened um about a week ago. I was in a frenzy. So I was going through a very horrible panicky mode again. Um, and I was I was just agitated, I was worried, I was anxious, I was a lot of things. And I caught myself in the mirror. I'll tell you why that's significant in the bits, but let me just back up a bit. Now, I'm this kind of person, like if you watch the first three videos, if you've not what are you waiting for? There are pictures of them here, so go and watch them. If you watch the first three videos, I mentioned um, in bits and pieces how I've been through quite a number of ordeals, which is what honestly gives me inspiration to talk about things like this. But as a side effect as well, when you find yourself in situations where you're always on your feet trying to you know get up, get better, be the best version of yourself, you get a lot of things that come at the side, insomnia, detachment, sometimes you get beat down. So that was where I was um, like about a week ago. And um, yeah, I was just literally moving through the house and I caught myself in the mirror. And it was almost as if my reflection pulled me back. It's funny because I'm not usually somebody who goes to the mirror. I, I don't know. I don't really have too much to do in the mirror. I don't really, really go to the mirror because I'm leaving the house. But this day, in the midst of all of that confusion, I caught myself in the mirror and I had a little pep talk. And it was like I could hear an inner voice saying, Amaka, look at you. Like, look at yourself. You've been through a lot. And that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's okay to feel the way you feel right now. It's fine, really, but you cannot stop here. There's this saying I really love. You didn't come this far to only come this far. So Maka, you cannot stop here. The reality of life is that you are some of these goals. Where you are now, that place you're complaining about, is what you once prayed for. And at the same time as you're complaining about it right now, somebody's looking at him like, oh my God, I want to be you. But yeah, you're not meant to you know, leave to please people and all of that, but you owe yourself that. You owe yourself that, that um, push to keep trying to be better trying to be the greatest version of yourself that's what i'm all i'm all about but at the same time yes there are times that life will bitch you down so um i was like baby girl you've gone through a lot and it's okay to feel the way you do but you can't stop here i literally felt like a 
a, a little lion cub that had its tail behind its legs and was just like face down. When I looked at myself, that was what came to mind. And I realized that's the same way I was feeling. But then it was like a switch at the same time. When that voice is like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine that you feel this way, but you can't stop here. There's so much to be done. There's so much you need to achieve. There's so much that you've seen yourself at. Yes, you've had failures. Yes, you've had disappointments. Yes, people have left. Oh God, yes, people have left. And yes, you've had side effects from all of that, but baby, you have to keep moving. So that's what I'm telling you today. Fear is a very strong and powerful emotion. Maybe in another day, maybe we'll have a whole series on fear. But what I'm trying to leave with you today is that fear is strong. Don't let anybody deceive you. Fear is strong. Don't let anybody make you feel bad when you feel afraid or when you feel down. It's part of life. They can be as hypocritical or whatever as they want to be, but it's normal. But at the same time, you have the capacity to be a lot bigger. You have the capacity to be a lot, a lot better than you currently are in. If you give yourself that chance. Now, I was re I'm, I'm reading the book of Colossians, and um, today I read the part where Paul was telling people from Colossae that just reminding God brought you out of the kingdom of darkness into light. So imagine you once were some, I don't know, some petty person somewhere living in some horrible district and now you live in like a big boy's land and you legit live there you're not like a second class citizen or anything that's where you belong but you're still carrying that mentality along with you that's what fear does to you now fear cripples you the truth is whatever is happening to you is happening like i said in the last in one of the last videos the problem sometimes isn't what is happening, it's what you think about what's happening. So you're thinking, oh, I'm never going to be better. Oh, this will never pass. Oh, I'm going to die here, right? But if you open your eyes and decide to reverse those thoughts, now thoughts is probably something that I should talk about. But if you open yourself, your mind up to reverse that fear, reverse those thoughts, and just know that, yes, fear is real, well, you are greater than what you feel. You're greater. You have the capacity, the seed inside you to overcome whatever you're facing. Trust me. You would also have that epiphany. I don't know what happened if I'm being honest in that mirror. Because all I did was look at myself and I got me for Paul. But I felt like I needed to tell you today that you're feeling fear. Or you might be experiencing fear in some area. Maybe if you're because you have exams you're about to write or you have a job interview or you've been failing continuously. But it doesn't change the fact that things can still change. Things can still turn around in an instant. You have the power to decide. Try to start by changing your thoughts. Try to start by standing up and realizing you have that power. That's the beginning. That's the key. Let's see how you take your life back. Have a lovely day, guys. See you same time next Thursday. Bye.